we are still on a journey that the Spirit of the Lord led us into as the year was beginning, the journey of restoration. God wants to restore our lives. And this is what I know about the God of restoration, that whenever God begins to restore our lives, he is bringing back things that we are lost. And child of God, understand this. The things that we are lost, some of them and a lot of them, you may not know them. But there is a God who knows everything, who has come as a restorer to our lives this year to bring back what we lost. So what do we need to do as we are on this journey of restoration? What do you need to do to recover what you lost in life? Because that is very, very important. There are very, very many people who want to receive back what they lost, but they can't and they don't know how to receive it. People are struggling in life. People are doing a lot of things to see that they can live better in life. But they find themselves failing. People begin businesses with a good intention to be better in life. Businesses fail. People enter into relationships wanting their lives to be better. Relationships fail. They break every time and again. Don't think that people are, don't mind over their lives. When you find somebody who is stuck in life, who is struggling in life, who has failed in life. I want you to understand this. Such a person has tried to improve himself, but there is something that never allows him to get better. First of all, we saw in the book of Zechariah, chapter 3, as God comes where Joshua is, and the Bible says that he's the chief priest, is on a level of a priest. In other words, he's a believer. In other words, he's a servant of God. That means that even on the level of being a servant of God, you can be bound. On a level of being a servant of God, you can be opposed by the evil one. So it, some people think it is, I am saved. I am a minister. I have this title. Let me tell you something. When the devil attacks... It's not after the title. It's after your life. It's after what you're meant to become and do. He knows it very well that what you're meant to become and do in life is what makes you better. So he does not mind. You, you can even go everywhere and preach the gospel. You can be a preacher on the streets. You can be a pastor in the church. You can be a minister in the, of the gospel. You can be anything. You can be married, you can be rich. You can be a cabinet minister, you can be a president. Mention any title, you can be an accountant, you can be anything. But the devil is not after your title. It's after the things that make you better and prosper in life. That is what it attacks. So now this man is Joshua. The Bible is saying in Zechariah, chapter 3, verses 1. Then the Lord showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan. Now watch this. He is standing before the angel of the Lord and also Satan is standing to oppose him. NIV version says, watch this, and Satan was standing at his right hand accusing him. So that means we've got an accuser. We've got someone who ever opposes you begin anything in life. You start anything in life. You become anything in life. I want you to understand this. The opposer comes. He is not invited. You don't need to fast and pray for the devil to show up. He is a visitor who visits people's lives. He is a person who comes where people are, whether he's called or not, whether, whether he's allowed or not, he appears. To do what? He appears to accuse to oppose, to resist, to stop you 
from doing what you're meant to be doing in life, from receiving things that you're meant to be receiving in life. For him, that is his mission. If he can stop you for years, if he can accuse you for years, if he can oppose you, oppose you for years, even he can let you, he can let you get married, but holds your womb and says you never have children. He can make you have a business and he says you never prosper in such a business. Even he can allow you to enter into a ministry and he frustrates you in the midst of ministry to prove to you that there is nothing good you can have out of the ministry. So what do we need to do at such a time as this? We have a restorer. We have a redeemer. We have a deliverer who has come to restore and also who has come to deliver us? That means that where God comes in into our lives as a deliverer and a restorer, he stops the working of the evil one in our lives. So if you are to possess what you lost in life, you must believe and have faith in God in this season of 2022. I repeat it again, because I believe that all of us, we want to possess we want to receive back whatever we lost. So how are we going to receive back what we lost? How are we going to possess what belongs to us? Last Wednesday, we ended by saying that this is a season. This is time for you to believe in God. This is time for you to have faith in God. And for sure, if you are to possess, if you are to receive back whatever you lost in life, you need to believe in God. You need to have faith in God. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 13, as we saw on Wednesday, what does scripture say? 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 13, the Bible says, and since we have the same spirit of faith, that means that there is a time when you believe in God, and also trust in God and then the spirit of faith comes upon you. You can make faith to become a spirit upon your life because of your belief in God and your trust in God. So now the Bible is saying and since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We believe and therefore speak. Now, the Bible is bringing out now confession. The Bible now is bringing out declaration. Did you know that it is very, very important for you to have a good confession and a good declaration based on the word of God? That is what most believers don't understand. Child of God, know this. There are things that God wants you to do in this season for you to recover what you lost. But also, you must understand this, that your confession is very, very important and your declaration. Why does scripture say that as the spirit of faith comes upon you, you begin to believe and speak? Why must you believe and speak? I thought that you believe and be quiet. You believe and be silent. Uh -uh. Where we are today in 2022, because now this is the fifth month, there are things you must confess. There are things you must declare out of your mouth, out of your life. But they must be based on the word of God. People speak a lot when some things go wrong in their lives. People speak a lot and they don't know that confession and declaration is another great weapon you can use in your physical life and also in your spiritual life to cause something to happen and also to change your life. Do you want your life to change? Do you want to bring back or to receive back what you received? What is your confession at such a time as this? What is your declaration at such a time as this? Because what the devil will do is to show you that in the physical, things are not getting better. So that you can also speak like the people of the world. So that you can also believe like people in the world. One of the things today that is affecting the world, not only Uganda, 
But everywhere in the world are the prices. Prices are not only high here in Uganda, but all over the world. When the war of Ukraine began, many things were affected. When COVID-19 came in, a lot was affected. Now don't think that it is only Uganda. The devil is not only holding Uganda. He's all over the whole world. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verses 19, that this whole world is under the control of the evil one. That is what NIV version says. But listen to this. Are you going to speak like the world? Are you going to declare like the world? Because of what is happening? I want you to understand this. There is a word of God that you can move on, which is the Bible. There are scriptures that God has put down over your life. The promises of God that can come to pass over your life when you have a good confession and a good declaration that comes out of your mouth. So that means that your confession and declaration must be based on what the word of the Lord says. That means in whatever situation, in whatever challenge, in whatever circumstance, in whatever you go through in life, don't ever allow to have a negative confession and a negative declaration out of yourself when you are a believer. It is very dangerous, you as a believer, to cry like the world. In other words, your confession and your declaration is your language as the redeemed of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 107, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So what can you say in 2022 when already the prophetic word of the Lord went forth? The word of the Lord went forth and said that 2022 is your year for restoration of you receiving back what you lost. And now what the devil is trying to show you, time is gone. The, four, the quarter of the year is gone. What is that that you are believing for in God that you have not received? So he wants you to change your language so that you can have the language of the bound. People who are in the world are already bound by him. No wonder they speak a language which is so comfortable for the devil. But you, make the devil uncomfortable. Make the demons uncomfortable. Make the principalities uncomfortable. Through your confession and through your declaration. Because your language as the redeemed must be a language of God's word. Must be a language of scripture. Must be a language of the promises of God. Must be a language of the blessings of God. So it is very important, child of God, for you to understand this. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So what is the declaration today that is coming out of your mouth? What is the confession today that is coming out of your mouth? Yes, you don't have the money. Yes, you're believing God for children. Yes, you're believing God for capital. Yes, you're believing God for school fees. Yes, you're believing God to own your own house. Yes, you're believing God to use you. But what is that that you can say as the redeemed of the Lord? So now that is why you see the power of confession comes in. The power of declaration comes in. So never allow any challenge that has risen against you. Any challenge that has come your way. Any situation, any condition that has come your way. To make your language be like the language of the world. You are not of the world. Though you are in the world, God has brought you out of the world. He has chosen you out of the world. And so your language must be the language of the redeemed based on confession and declaration from God's word, from what the promises of God are for your life and what the blessings of God are for your life in Jesus' mighty name. So when you believe and have faith in God, this will help you to have a positive confession and declaration. What is about confession? What is about declaration? Because from now, you're going to have a better declaration. From now, you're going to have a better confession. So what is behind your confession? What is behind your declaration? In the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verses 20, the Bible says that your life will be satisfied from the fruit of your mouth. Everyone touch your mouth. 
Your mouth is very, very important. First of all, your mouth keeps you alive because it is through your mouth that you eat. But then also, if you want to be alive in things of God, if you want to be alive in this world today, if you want to make it in this world today, understand this, that your life is going to be satisfied from the fruit of your mouth. In other words, your mouth can turn you to become anything. It can turn you to be great. Your mouth can turn you to become a loser. Your mouth can turn you to become blessed. Your mouth can cause you to be someone who is bound. So your mouth, when they say that the fruit of your mouth is going to be the produce of your lips, that is going to fill up your life, that is going to fill up your stomach, that means you become the result of what you say, you become a result of what you confess. If you're ever saying, from where we come from, we are poor. I don't know what happened to us. I never went to school. I don't know what happened when COVID-19 came in. We are all suffering. All of business people, you must borrow to become better. That means now there is a fruit that is coming out of your mouth that is going to fill up the whole life of yours. So that means that the words that you speak, it is not only a confession and declaration, but they are also seeds. Seeds that grow. Now what are you filling your life with? It is time to fill up your mouth with blessings, with scripture. It is time to fill up your mouth with what the word of the Lord says. So when you do so, you're going to understand this because the Bible says that your tongue has the power. Your tongue has the power. Which power is that? Through confession and declaration. Your mouth has the power through the tongue to bring life or to bring death unto yourself. Now, if you, I believe no one wants to die. But if you want life, shout a loud amen. Now that means that your confession must change. Speak good over your church. Speak good over your pastor. Speak good over your husband. Speak good over your wife. Speak good over your business. Speak good over your leaders. Speak good over your nation. People don't, these days don't speak good over the nation. People don't speak good over leaders. Just evil. And you are creating negativity every time and again. So child of God, if you want life, change your confession. Do you want a better Uganda? Do you want a better Uganda? Do you want a better life? Do you want a better family? Your confession must be based on the word of God. If you see a leader who is failing, prophesy over that leader. Declare over that leader. He will change. If you see somebody who can make it, speak good over that person. By doing so, when you train your mouth, when you train your tongue to have a fruit of life, people will receive life and also you shall receive life. And that is one of the things the devil has hidden from most people. Most people don't know you become whatever you become because of your confession and declaration. Now we are in the year of restoration. But there are people who are not in the line of restoration. You can't speak anything about restoration. You are just speaking about the negative. You are just speaking about the condition, the circumstances. I am poor. I don't have money. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yet if you don't have money, that means it was lost. It is time to change your confession and say, my money is coming. I lost it, but it is coming. This left my life, but it is coming. So child of God... If you want to eat of the fruit of your tongue, you must now understand that confession and declaration is very important in your life. And you must declare positively. Best on what the word of the Lord says. So now, if you have the faith and believe in God, because that is what is going to bring back what you lost. You must have faith this season. You must have faith in God. If you want your husband to come back, your wife to come back, if you want your favor to come back, if you want breakthrough to come your way, if you want miracles to come your way, believe in God, have faith in God, then the power of your tongue will begin to bring positive confessions around you which will become a fruit of life. 
But if you don't do so, you are putting death around you. Whether your sisters and brothers or your father or mama is stubborn and probably they run away from you or they chase you out of the family. Now change the confession. This is my blood. I'm the one to change it. I have the life of God that is going to change them for them to understand God to become better in Jesus' name. Other than going everywhere, talking about your father, talking about your mother, how terrible she is, how terrible your brothers are, how terrible your sisters are change from death to life you can live you can cause things to live through your confession and through your declaration you can speak and you can believe what you, you are just you can believe you can speak what the word of the lord says and things can turn around in your life in jesus mighty name so when you have faith and believe in god the power that is upon your tongue which is life is going to begin to create things around you. Job 22, 28 says that you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. So the light of God will shine on your ways. These are days for the light of God to shine. Where do you want the light of God to shine in your life? Declare. Speak. As Job is saying that you shall declare a thing. What sin can you declare today? If it is a positive sin, based on the word of God, then the light of God will come upon the confession that you have made. And you will have a better direction in life in Jesus' name. Somebody lift up those hands and speak something good over your life in Jesus' name. Now, that is a confession. That is a declaration. Speak something good over your life. Are you going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living? Somebody shout and say in the name of Jesus. I'm going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Somebody say I'm going to eat the best of the land. May that be established upon your life in Jesus name. So Job is saying 22, 28. That you shall declare a thing and it shall be established for you. So the light will shine on your ways so that means these are days for darkness to cease if you've been looking at ways of darkness you wake up being worried of alone you wake up being worried you wake up worried of sickness and disease of what people are saying that has been light ever going before you but as the God of deliverance comes, deliverance is the light of God. The light of God is going to shine upon you. You're going to wake up believing God to make a million dollars in Jesus' name. You're going to believe up knowing that money is coming your way. That is what it means that when you declare... When you have a positive confession, when you have a positive confession over your life time and again, you have a declaration that is based on scripture, that is based on the promises of God. It is light that goes ahead of you. I am here to declare. If you've never reached a season where every time and again, the blessing of God is ahead, the masses of God are ahead, this is the season. The blessings of God are ahead of you. The masses of God are ahead of you. The miracles of God are ahead of you. The breakthroughs of God are ahead of you. That is what it means for light to shine in your ways. By the time you wake up, the wicked one is not in your day. He has been shaken out of the day. It is the light of God to shine. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may that be so. As God is coming to restore you as God is coming to deliver you you will for sure see the light of God in your ways in your life in Jesus name if you believe it shout three amens in Jesus name the second amen and the third amen upon your ways you shall see the light not darkness when he comes to restore restoration ends the working of darkness in our lives. So your positive confession and declaration that come out from your mouth become a fraud. And then the power that is thereof in your confession and declaration is going to position God in your life as a God of possibilities. I stand today 
to, oh my God, to introduce unto you the God of possibilities in your life. There is still that God who can make things become able, who can turn the impossible things into possible. There is a God now because he's ready to restore you. He's going to be a God of possibilities in your life. And if you believe it, you shall tell out amen. In the book of Luke chapter 1 verses 37, scripture says that with God nothing will be impossible. Now I want you to shout out as you make that declaration. Say, in my life, from now, speak louder. Uh-huh. Speak louder. Uh-huh. The God of possibilities has come. All impossible things are going to become possible. You see such confessions? You see such declaration? When they have called you a failure, when you have seen your life failing for years, when you've seen your life struggling for years, you stand upon the word of God. You believe in God. You have faith in God and begin to say, there is a God of restoration who spoke over my life, but 2022 is a year of restoration. Whatever has been impossible for years in my family, in my church, in my nation, is going to become possible because he who restores is bringing back all things that were lost child of God this is your season 2022 it's not just a season but it is your prophetic moment it is your prophetic year if other people don't have any prophecy for you you have you have a prophet you have a prophetic word over your life that must come to pass confess it declare it believe in God trust in God it will become possible in Jesus mighty name but here you are in a prophetic moment in a prophetic year in a prophetic season other than confessing and declaring that there is a God bringing back what I lost there is a God of possibilities see what you're talking about you're talking about what media spoke about yesterday you're talking about what is in newspapers you're talking about what the world is saying ah uh -uh. it is not now talking about media it's not about talking about the world it is written in the word of God so I believe and I speak begin to believe in the word and begin to speak the word as you believe in the word and speak the word you shall overcome what media is speaking you shall overcome what the world is speaking you shall overcome what people are speaking so now as we begin to confess and declare based on what is written in the word of God God is positioned in our lives as a God of possibilities that means that Satan who made things impossible because it is never God to make things impossible in your life tell your neighbor it was never God uh -uh. turn to another neighbor and tell that neighbor it was never God Satan is the one who makes things impossible in our lives because in God all things are possible that means in God there is no impossibility but yet in the devil there is he makes you to fail to make money he makes you to fail in your marriage he makes you to pray he makes you to if makes you to fail to pray he makes you to fail to come to church he makes you to fail to go to another level impossibilities are for the devil so this is what i want you to understand that there are things satan has made impossible in your life because he came in as a thief and as he came in as a thief he took away what can make you better. He took away what can make your life glorious. And he made sure that he turns everything upside down for you to see everything impossible. For me, I don't think I'll ever travel. Who has ever traveled in our home? 
I don't think I can make it. Look at myself. See how old I am. He comes where Abraham is 75 years and makes him to travel around the world. What about you? Moreover, with no visa. Oh my God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? With no passport, but with blessing and favor upon him. He made him to go all around the world. That means child of God. There are things that God is going to do over your life. As he gives you favor and as he blesses you, you're going to wonder. No nation will ever close on you. If it has closed on other people, the God of restoration has come back again in your life. The deliverer has come. He makes a 75 year old man into something else. I don't think today there is someone here at the age of 75. So that means there is still hope. I love what Job says in Job 14. There is still hope for a tree that is cut down. If your life is like a tree, the devil cut it down. You can't see anything rising out of you. You can't see anything becoming better in your life. There is still hope in God. The Lord has sent me to preach unto you. And even you are listening to me. You are listening. People of God, listen to me. There is still hope in God. You can prosper in God. You can get married in God. You can be a parent in God. God. You can be prosperous in God. You can be blessed in God. There is still hope. Time is still on your side because God owns all time in Jesus' name. You still have hope. There is hope for you to be better. There is hope for you to prosper. There is hope for you to increase. If they cut you down years ago, God is going to raise you up in Jesus' name. So what the devil does, he steals from lives of people and having stolen from lives of people, he leaves your life in trouble. Now somebody shout and say, no more trouble in my life. Louder than that. That is a confession. Somebody declare and say, no more trouble in my life. Now that is a declaration. Say, no more trouble in my life. That means when God comes in as a restorer and he takes you out of trouble, if there is any trouble from today that will come your way, that trouble will be turned into a double blessing in your life. Because of the confession you have made now, because of the declaration you have made now, that no more trouble. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 9 verses 12 that even today, I will restore double unto you. Somebody shout and say double restoration. Uh, uh, uh. Somebody shout and say double restoration. Do you know what that means? If God is to restore double to you, that means there is, oh my God, there is what the devil took from you. And upon that, the spirit of God is also coming to multiply that that was taken. That is why Deuteronomy says, chapter 1 verses 11, that may the Lord multiply you a thousand times. Do you know what that means? If the devil took one car from you, if the devil took two people out of your life, that God, the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, who turned him, who restored Abraham and made him a great God, the Bible says he's going to make you, somebody declare and say, God is going to make me this year. Oh my God. Ah, louder than that, say this year, God is going to make me a thousand times more. So that means if the devil took that 20 or 50 by 100 plot that you bought and they told you you bought air. is going to bring back that but having multiplied it a thousand times. You're not getting what I'm trying to say. If the devil took your husband out of your house and even you are watching me listen to me. He took him. By the time he took him, probably he took him with one car and with a small business. Now, because of restoration, by the time he comes back, he's going to be a billionaire. <laughs> that means in that process, God 
God is going to multiply him. By the time he comes back, he's coming back as a billionaire in your life in Jesus' name. You have not got it. God is going to multiply you a thousand times in Jesus' name. If they took one customer from you or 20 customers from you and you close the business and you're busy saying my, my, my customers were taken. How many? So and so you can even number them. Now what God is going to do? The customers are coming but upon them there is a spirit of restoration. They are coming with others. You're going to have a thousand times more in Jesus' mighty name. If he took away your bank account and by the time your bank account was closed, how much was on that account? 10,000? 50,000? Now 50 is coming back times a thousand. Oh my God. That is the God of restoration that I'm talking about. That is the God who is going to substitute your trouble for a double restoration. That is the God that I'm talking about. If they have troubled you for a long time, for every trouble, he's going to bring a blessing. That means God is coming to bless you a thousand times more in Jesus' name. Somebody shout three times and say a thousand times more. Again, again, he is coming to multiply you. He is coming to add upon you a thousand times more. And scripture says, and I will bless you as I have promised you. That means there is already the promise of God for you to be better. There is a promise of God for you to increase. There is a promise of God for you to be prosperous. Upon the written word of God, there is a written word of God that says you shall be the head and on the tail. He's going to stand upon that word. He's going to stand upon that word. That is why you need to believe in the word. You need to believe in the promises of God and as you believe in the promises of God, child of God as you believe in the promises of God, believe and declare, this is my year of holy matrimony because it was promised unto me this is my year of traveling to nation because the word of the Lord says I must go to all the whole world, child of God there is already a promise that God is going to stand upon to multiply you upon thousand times in Jesus name somebody shout and say a thousand times more now I don't know about your neighbor by the time the devil came he stole your one dress he stole your one shoe now one times a thousand one times one thousand one times what he took a thousand times more are you gonna be restored a thousand times more is the Lord gonna bless you a thousand times more will you see the blessing of God upon your life somebody shout seven times a thousand times more Shout it a second time. Shout it the fourth third time. Shout it the fourth time. Declare it the fifth time. Declare it the sixth time. And the seventh time, declare it. That is where God is taking your life. That is where God is taking your life. So he says in Zechariah 9 12, where we are. Even today, I will restore double to you. Somebody say a thousand times more. Then an LT version says, I promise this very day. Now I'm not talking about any other day. Friday, today, this very day, this very day. And some of you have not got it. You think it is I speaking. You think it is Zachariah speaking. But these are the words of the Lord himself. This is not prophet Zachariah. It is God himself saying. And I stand to say. Thus sayest the Lord unto you today. Thus sayest the spirit of God unto you today. I promise this very day. I will repair to blessing for each of your trouble in Jesus name you know some of you are not used of hearing God speak 
You are used of men speaking. You are busy reporting men unto God. My husband said, my wife said, my boss said, church members are speaking, politicians are saying, child of God, listen to me. This is not man speaking. This is God speaking. This very day, this is not a pastor speaking. This is not a prophet speaking. But it is God speaking. If you believe it and declare it, it will happen to you. This very day, the Lord is repaying blessing for each of your troubles in Jesus' mighty name. Now, how many believe that it is the Lord saying so? Now, believe it and declare it. Oh my God. Believe it and declare it and say this very day. I'm going to drive myself because God has said so. If you believe that it is the Lord, somebody declare it, somebody believe it, and speak it in Jesus' name. Hula masheta kete When it comes to restoration, what the devil made impossible, God turns it around to become possible. It is possible for you to be rich this year. It is possible for you to be blessed this year. It is possible for you to become a landlord this year. It is possible. Now whatever I'm talking about has been impossible in your life. It is possible for that man to marry you. It is possible for that sister to become your wife. It is possible to have a million dollars on your account. It is possible. When he comes in as a God of restoration, what has been impossible? becomes possible. Now turn to that neighbor and tell that neighbor, stop reporting, stop confessing, stop declaring what doctors say, what men say. You are busy moving with your charts of hospital everywhere you go. The doctor said, the doctor said, if you can believe in a doctor, if you can believe in your husband, if you can believe in your wife, if you can believe in your teacher, if you can believe in your politician, if you can believe in a political man, what about believing in God? What about believing in God? Believe in God. In God all things are possible. The president said, the minister said, our MP said, the doctor said, my husband said, the teachers of my children said, yes, that is man saying, but what is God saying? This very day. That say, yes, the Lord, this very day, this very day, I will repay blessings for trouble. If you believe it, confess it and say all my troubles are being substituted for a blessing. Louder than that, say in the name of Jesus, I declare, I confess all my troubles are being substituted for a double blessing. <laughs> a question comes when did you begin to see trouble when did trouble befall you some of you trouble befell you by the time you came out of your mama's womb others you're still young that is when trouble began others you are growing up you became used that is when trouble began but I'm here to tell you from the time trouble began that is where the restorer is going from the season people began to talk from the season people began to bewitch you from the season the enemy came in and disorganized you from that season when trouble began is where the restorer is going is where the deliverer is going and he will bless you a thousand times more in Jesus mighty name somebody shout a thousand times more go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead oh my god the presence of god is here somebody shout and say a thousand times more jesus 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 you are here jesus you are helping your people jesus somebody shout a thousand times more go ahead go ahead go ahead 
shout it loud, shout it loud a thousand times more. Will you be blessed a thousand times more? Will you be restored? The presence of God is here, the anointing of God is here. Clap those hands as you shout a thousand times more. Go ahead, go ahead. Ripeke sete brodosa ye. Ha pa 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 ye go sete kete brodosa. He ye le 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 bo sete. He kete brodosa tapaya. Somebody shout and clap those hands and say a thousand times more. Jesus, you are here. Jesus, you are touching your people. Jesus, you are changing the lives of the people. Somebody shout and say a thousand times more. The presence of God is all over this place. The presence of God is going where your trouble is. A thousand times more is what you are receiving. A thousand times more is what is coming upon you. He botaya. Hey mama come running, clapping those hands and shouting a thousand times more. Jesus, you're helping your people. Jesus, you're touching your people. Receive the blessings of God. God. People go ahead and clap those hands to Jesus a thousand times more. Will God bless you a thousand times more? Will trouble come out of your body? Will trouble come out of your life? Somebody clap those hands and shout a thousand. Hey, gentlemen, put him on a coat. Run and clap those hands and shout and say a thousand times more. Come, 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 come. Go ahead, child of God, shout it loud a thousand times more, a thousand times more. Go ahead and shout it out in Jesus' mighty name. See what you're doing for your people. Jesus, you're here. You're helping them. Jesus, you're here. Hey, mama, come. Hey, Sebo, come. Clap those hands and shout a thousand times more. Hey, get it, get it. Clap those hands and shout a thousand times. Oh, a thousand times more in Jesus' mighty name. Clap those hands to Jesus. A thousand times more will you be blessed. A thousand times more will you see the blessings of God. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Repelese take a tebrodosa. A thousand times more. Mama, come here. Come clapping those hands. Shout. People clap those hands. Yes, 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 yes. A thousand, clap your hands and shout a thousand times more in the name of Jesus. She will prosper. She will be better. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. Come on. Oh, hey, 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 hey. A thousand times more, Mama. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. We can Hey, young lady, come here. People clap those hands a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more. She will never suffer a thousand times more. No more trouble in Jesus' name. People, go ahead, clap those hands to Jesus a thousand times more. Hey, mama, come. People clap those hands and declare a thousand times more. He's here. He's blessing you. He's touching you a thousand times more. In Jesus' mighty name, he's touching your lives. Somebody clap those hands and declare a thousand times more. It will happen to you. Something is happening. Something is changing a thousand times more. Clap those hands and declare a thousand times more in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Clap them, declare, clap them. Become it, become it. Declare, declare, declare. You'll become it, declare. You'll be it in Jesus' name. Oh my God, clap those hands, everybody. A thousand times more. Jesus, Jesus. You know what you're doing? That is a confession. That is a declaration. Mama, come here. Hey, yeah, you behind, you behind. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. Jesus. 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 A thousand times more. In Jesus' name. Somebody declare and say a thousand times more. Hey, Mama, baby, come here. Jesus. 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 Mama, come. Jesus, 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 Jesus. People clap those hands. Jesus.
Jesus, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more. People clap those hands with Jesus, a thousand times more. Hey, Mama, come here. Hey, let it come. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, Jesus. People declare a thousand times more upon their lives in Jesus' name. A thousand times more upon their lives in Jesus' name. A thousand times more. A thousand times more. Come here, Mama. Jesus. 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 A thousand times more. Clap those hands and declare and say a thousand times more. Hey, guys, come, 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 come. He let me take a temporary. More in Jesus' mighty name, a thousand times more. Be blessed a thousand times more, a thousand times more in Jesus' name. Father, all of them, Father, all of them, Father, all of them. Hey, guys, come, Jesus, 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 come, guys, Jesus, a thousand times more, Jesus, a thousand times more in the name of Jesus, a thousand times more. You will see His blessing. A thousand times more, a thousand times more. People clap those hands to Jesus. He let me take it up, brothers. He papa 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 kataya. He ele 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 mo sataka. He papa papa la katoya ka. He pe 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 mo sataka. The God of possibilities. He's the God I introduced to you. The God of possibilities. 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 Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and clap those hands. Oh my God, who said you won't be better? Who said you won't prosper? Who said you won't increase? Who said you never make it in life? A hey God of miracles, a hey God who's gonna multiply you a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more in Jesus' name, a thousand times more. Jesus, don't give up on God. Go and he won't give up on you. Everyone, he is able. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. You will make it in life. 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 In the name of Jesus. To do. Let's declare that. Come here, young lady. Yes. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Oh my God, yes. Don't give up on God. Hey, young lady. God bless you. In Jesus' name. He's able, 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 Oh! 
Sebo. Go ahead and declare it and say, My God. He's able. Shout it, declare it, believe it, confess it. My God is able. My God is able. My God is able. He's able to heal you. He's able to bless you. Be healed right now. Be blessed right now. Be prosperous right now. God is able to mend your relationship. God is able to cancel your debts right now. Be blessed. Be blessed. He's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, my God is able. My God is able. Hallelujah. You guys come here. You sisters, come here. Jesus. Ribete sota, brothers. Put them here. Who's older? Who's younger? You're older. She's younger. It's your first time here. God has brought you for a reason. Your first time here, the devil is quitting. Your first time here, the devil is giving up on you. Live your lives in Jesus' name. Whatever was lost. Mama, are you the mother? They are your friends. Come here. Eh? The age difference is big. She's able to work. She's able to prosper. She's able to be better. What you put upon her head is what God is taking of her. Good days have begun in your life. In Jesus' name. She will be able to smile again. She will be able to smile again. One, two, three. You've lost the battle. God has taken over. In Jesus' name. Somebody lift up those hands. And say, my God. Louder is able to restore my life. Say, my God is able to bless my life. Fast it for a moment. Let's clap those hands until I tell you to stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stop. As the Lord lives, you are going to see your life being multiplied a thousand times more. Mama, come here. Mama, come here. You come. Even your mama come here. Quickly, guys. Come. Mama, come here. Somebody shout and say, my God is able. Mama, come here. Even your mama come here. Come. Come. Even you come. Somebody shout and say, my God is able. Come. Now, child of God, say, I believe. No, louder than that. Louder than that. And I confess for every trouble in my life, this very day, the Lord is blessing me double. I'm saying something upon your lives. 
Ladies, God is going to make you happy. God is going to make you happy. He's going to make you happy. I may not know who said you'll never have good life. Disorganizing you will never you are with a man because of what was spoken. But God is going to make you happy again. God is going to make you happy. All of you. Believe. Look at me. Do you believe it? Step on the platform. Just get there. Now, listen. Man has not said so. God has said so. It's amazing. I'm seeing people drumming against your lives being better and happy. Drums. Balinga abakolida ke mikoro. Balinga bagama tol jachibeda. Baku bengoma. But you're on the altar of God. Or you want to go Or Baba, you get at you. Hey. What you Baba, you can get at you. Or Baba, you can get at you. Or Baba, you can get at you. Or Baba, you Oli mukubera wokwe Oli mukubera wokwe Oli mukubera wokwe Obulunchi babu kenda kulabisiwa Echitiba chechi kenda kulabisiwa Oru nako rwalero nawe bakutese kuchoto Chine choto cha wakatonda Chima na mamanyi Buli choto chona Echima dechi kukerera Chima na mamanyi Buli choto chona Echima dechi milite Chima na mamanyi Oh my God! Samuel is say now on a yagala kono muami on a yagala kono musaja. Watch your body, get a mukama. On a labo plumbonga butere terero. On a labo enchaulo kubanga katonda yogete. God has spoken so. Drum, 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 please. He can take brodo sakata. He said, "Mama, see the mukubera kuba katonda. He chitiwa chichi kubika. Amani ge kachawoli. He chitiwa chuba katonda. Chicho chicho." Chicho chise, chimala mo amani. Have you your neighbor but tell me call it with your plump. Drum for them, please. Jesus, 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 Jesus is here. Jesus is touching you. Jesus is meeting you. Jesus is changing your lives in Jesus' name. Say, I believe. What do you believe? This very day. Oh Jesus. This very day. For every trouble you've gone through. Come Sebo. Come Sebo. Come Sebo. Sebo come. Sebo come. Sebo come. Sebo come. Sebo come. For every trouble stand there. Sebo I believe. my God. You will sit there. Begin to claim your miracle right now. Whatever you thought is impossible. Begin to claim it and say I receive it. Say I receive it. Say I receive it. Clap those drum those drums please. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, drum, drum, drum. Hey, gentlemen, raise up your hands in Jesus' name. Go ahead, go ahead, drum. Oh, my God. Now miracles are taking place. Now miracles are happening. 
Even you are watching in Jesus name by television. May God bless you. May God restore you. Whatever belongs to you, let it come back to you. By the time you gentlemen, you put down your hands. You are going to be a new man. Blessed by God. Jesus. A new man. 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 Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, all things are possible, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord. Putting on blue, come here. Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. All things are Jesus. Lord, I believe. Ilekesita brada da 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 sa. Lord, I believe all things are possible. Lord, I believe. I believe, Lord, I believe. Hey, Mama, come and hold my hand. Gentlemen, come and hold my hand. Jesus. are happening. Lord, hey mama, come back. Come here. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. She's free from you. Mama, come with your bag and put it on your head. Put it on your head. Come. She'll increase a thousand times. She will. She will. She will. A thousand times more than anyone in the family because you have refused that for ages. A thousand times in her business. A thousand times in her life. 
Lord, I believe. Come here, Mama. All things are possible. Come here, Mama. Lord, I believe. Oh, my God. A thousand increase. A thousand increase upon your life in Jesus' mighty name. Abakusani da koko mudala ko, abakusani da kumbula mupo. Neba kwe tolo la nebo kere bintu bitali yo. Neba kamba kaja kufa o kaja kusiana. I refuse that in Jesus' name. I believe. Hey mama, tomorrow is your day of victory. <laughs> Can you smile? Can you laugh? <laughs> You're getting money. You're getting a breakthrough through that first customer that has come in your hands. Tomorrow is your day. Tomorrow is your day for you to touch money again. For you to have money in life in Jesus' mighty name. Pick her up. Pick her up. Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. She will make it in life. She will prosper in life. Now, if you know there is something difficult in your life that you have dealt with for years, come and stand here. Lord, you have dealt with it, it has refused to leave, it has refused. Jesus. Lord, I believe. Sing the song, sing the song, sing the song. Do you believe? Do you believe? Lord, I, I can't hear you. Do you believe, child of God? Do you believe, child of God? Do you believe? Do you believe? Every impossible case, that is why you're here. You are standing for God to deal with what has been impossible. Young girl, come here. Oh my God, Lord, I believe. She believes, oh God. Bring that young girl here. Bring that young man here. All things are possible. Not that one, the other one. Come, young lady. Lord, I believe. They are in your presence, Jesus. Yes, oh. Possible. Believe it. Whether sickness, whether financial, anything in your life that has been difficult. I believe. Sing and declare. All things are possible. right now Lord, I, believe. I believe I believe oh Jesus there will be possible there will be possible in your life I believe I believe oh my God oh my God things will be possible I believe Oh, 
possible. Things will be possible. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. This way, Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh my God! I believe. I believe. I believe. That will be possible. All things will be possible in Jesus' name. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. All things. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. If you believe it, clap those hands and shout seven times and say. I believe, oh God, all things are possible now in my life. Speak it the second time. Speak it the third time. Speak it the fourth time. Speak it the fifth time. Speak it the sixth time. And the seventh time, declare it. All things. All things. I stand on this altar of restoration. And I declare in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Restoration upon your lives in Jesus name. Be restored. In the spirit. Be restored. In the physical. In the mighty name. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever was lost in your life, Jesus, may you recover it. Whatever was taken out of your life by the enemy, I call it back seven times. The first time, the second time, the third time, the first time, the fifth time in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. The sixth time in Jesus' name. And the seventh time. I call back your joy. I call back your life. May you recover whatever you lost. In Jesus' name. And if you believe it, shout a loud amen in Jesus' name. Oh my God. If you believe, shout a loud amen in Jesus' name. If you believe, shout a loud amen in Jesus' name. Oh my God, the devil is losing and you're getting back what belongs to you. The kingdom of God has come next to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe it, somebody shout a loud amen. You're receiving back your joy, your marriage, your money. You're receiving back your customers. You're receiving back your children. You're receiving back what is yours. You're receiving back what was lost. Let there be a quick recovery in Jesus' mighty name. Receive back children of God. Receive back what belongs to you. Receive back what belongs to you in Jesus' name. If you believe it, shout aloud amen in Jesus' name. Be restored in Jesus' name. And every believer shall say loud amen. amen. Let us give praise to the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Yes, you may be in this place and you're not yet saved. And you want to give your life to Christ Jesus. I want you to touch your chest and repeat the words that I'm going to lead you through. If you're watching me and you're not yet saved and you want to give your life to Christ Jesus, I want you to do the same. Probably you are saved and you backslid. And today you want to come back to the Lord. Just touch your chest. And I want you to repeat these words and say, Lord Jesus, here I am in your presence as a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me with your blood. With my mouth I confess. And with my heart I believe that you are Lord and Savior of my life. Your devil and your demons and your principalities, I denounce you from today. The Lord Jesus Christ is my Lord and is my Savior. Father God, write my name in the book of life and let me enter heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, and to every man and woman that have given their lives to you, may you come into their lives and save them and restore them and deliver them in Jesus' name. And every believer shouts so loud, amen. Yeah, you are saved. You are saved. Let's give praise to the Lord and to everyone who has given his life to Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's time to plant our seeds now. It's time to give our offerings right now in Jesus' name. Everyone get a hold of your seed. Get a hold of your offering. In the name of Jesus. And give your seeds. Here we are. Lifting our hands to you. Let's go ahead and give. Yeah, when we are giving we all stand. If your money, if your money is on the phone, I want you to get a hold of I want you to you to, to get a hold of your phone and use that number that is on the screen. And wherever you're watching us from, those numbers that you see on the screen that are running, that is where you can plant your seed. You can give your offering in Jesus' name. So if you came with your phone and the money is on the phone, you can use that number to give. Lifting our hands to you. Here we are, giving you thanks for all you do. And as we praise and worship your holy name, you are here. Let's all lift up our voices and declare that here we are lifting our hands to you. Here we are giving you thanks for all you do as we pray and worship your Lord. got the praise.
Wherever you're watching us from, may God richly bless you. We meet on Sunday. Don't miss Sunday. It's going to be incredible. At the end of this month, we've got a very, very, very special service. It's the service of increase. We are giving or we are going to bring things we don't need, we don't use. So that God will increase us. We've just come from Thanksgiving thanking God for what he's doing and what he has done in our lives and what he's going to do. So now as we are on a journey of restoration, God is going to increase us. But God can't increase you when you have not emptied yourself. So if there are things you don't need or use, please bring them. That day of increase, what we do, the things we've brought, we give them to people that don't have. There are people who want houses, yet you have a house you don't use. A land you don't use, yet they are in need of land. Clothes you don't use, cars you don't use. Anything that is in a good shape that you don't use, bring it. And let us be a blessing unto the people. We've been doing this for years and God has really blessed us. You can be part of what God is doing. Probably you're abroad and there are things you don't use. You can ship them and you can be a blessing unto someone. What you want to give somebody will be a point of contact for God to increase your life. So don't miss. It's going to be on the, it's going to be on the 29th, which is the last Sunday of this month. And God is going to do great things. Till we meet on Sunday, be blessed. Bye-bye. understanding then the new man in you will prosper what kills the new man in you whenever the new man is not fed 